Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Let's get started with the Salesforce demo lecture that how how the Salesforce uh, will work and how the Salesforce industry works. And before we go, uh, let me introduce our agenda today that uh, what we are going to see today that uh, I will introduce first of all myself and then we see what are the market trends currently going on about the Salesforce. That how, Is it good to join the Salesforce industries or not or do we go with some other parts? So we'll see some market trends or then what is uh, Salesforce? We'll see the introduction part of that and how much the Salesforce is popular into the market and then at the end we have around a five to ten minutes uh, question answer session and based on that uh, uh, I'll try to answer you whatever the question whatever you have in your mind so to not going to waste much time and let's start with the first slide so guys I'm Mehul Makwana and uh, I'm from India and I'm having currently three certification done in Salesforce and fourth one is on my way I have implemented around 30 plus projects in my total overall career of 4.5 years and uh, I'm I'm working as a trainer uh, from last three and a half years and so these are my credentials certification I'm done with an administrator first of all then I go with the platform developer one and recently I done with the service clouds consultant so this is my credential and this is what about me and uh, Let's go ahead and see the market trends. What are the market trends currently? Are so these are some couple of news cuttings which I have pasted over here. So it says that there are uh, around the first phase by the 2020 there will be 1.9 million jobs are available in the market which is for a Salesforce only not others and in a, uh, another newspaper which is nothing but the Times of India cutting it, it says that it's Hyderabad news in India that uh, 4.2 2 billion GDP impact will be grown by the 2020 and uh, there will be a huge number of demand uh, in a cell force uh, as a developer and as an admin also. So uh, before we move ahead, uh, let me clear you out if you don't know that in a cell force there are two kinds of jobs are available in the market. So first one who hate the coding and who don't that much love the coding part they can go for an administrator part and those who really love the coding and th those who want to uh, play around with the coding part and all stuff then they can go for a developer and that this kind of two jobs uh, are available in the market as of now and uh, in admin part it's uh, there is whatever we can do through the coding also that is available to the point and click part which is nothing but the administrator so if you want to do any kind of application, if you want to create application in a Salesforce with based on your custom requirement, yes, you can do it without the coding. And that is the beauty of the Salesforce. That's why it's so much demanding and so much uh, kind of popular into the market. So this is what the news cutting as of now, if you guys have selected as a Salesforce to your career, for your career, then the, uh, I can say that uh, this is the most important decision you have taken in your life that Salesforce is really good and uh, I can damn sure you guys, the next 10 to 20 years, there will be a huge demand of the Salesforce in the market. There is no other competitor is available. That I can discuss on the next further slide that how are the competitors and how the Salesforce is big in the ecosystem of CRM. So. There are some basic questions you guys have. If you are new to the Salesforce, uh, as of now I don't know about you guys, but uh, if you are really new to the Salesforce, this kind of basic question definitely comes into your mind that what is the Salesforce and what can I do with it? So even if you ask anyone uh, as a basic question, then what is the Salesforce? Uh, mostly people say the answer to me that Salesforce is in CRM tool and which uh, works as a customer relationship management and then stop. This is the only thing they can uh, give me an answer if I ask someone that what in the Salesforce if it is not uh, experienced guys in the Salesforce so but trust me guys this is not only the CRM tool we can do so many things inside this so Salesforce started whenever the Salesforce company started it's around 18 years back so 18 years back whenever the Salesforce has started the company started as a SaaS company so here I'm saying SaaS is nothing but the software as a service so Salesforce started his journey with being as an CRM platform of SaaS. So at that time, Salesforce has some limited features and limited functionality and uh, that they provide in terms of software. So that's why the Salesforce has started the company 
around 18 years back i didn't remember the exact date but 18 years back they have started and at that time it was small uh, kind of simple browser based software where uh, uh, has some few objects over there and few functionality can able to do that is related to sales operations only no other operations were, were able to do at that time only sales operations were there and for that software it's in cloud based that's why it started as a saas company so maybe you guys some of them are aware what is the saas means saas means a software as a service so whatever the company are there who provide you the service uh in terms of software that company will call as a saas so apart from salesforce if i take an example which you are in a daily life which you are using is so it's an gmail is the one of the google uh, service they provide so gmail is one of the software which is nothing but an email client which we are using as a software so we are we are not going to install gmail client in our machine and no we are going just we are going to open the browser and we hit the url we can able to use the gmail software based on your login credential so that's what you are using the cloud based software uh, as a service you are using the gmail service you are not going to install it you are not going to pay it or if you want some extra features which is not provided by the free of cost by the gmail then you have to pay for it so this is how the saas aspects of the company and they have started with their journey with the saas but later on salesforce has, has a few, few many customers and they are saying that uh, uh, we need this kind of features also in salesforce and we need this kind of service based functionality also you are providing on only the sales base someone company is working in a marketing side so they are saying that we need something related with marketing also if you want to send email to all the customers on a daily basis automatically then that kind of feature should be also there related with marketing stuff if i want to manage any campaign uh, related stuff then that should be also uh, possible in salesforce build something like that so based on their all requirement salesforce try to pick it up that all requirements and whatever is the major requirement they implement it and provide it into the next higher version based on that they are started a uh, kind of journey where they are starting implement uh, improving themselves and at the end they have decided okay but we have so many requests for the upgradation and this all thing how we can uh, um, manage this all and if we want to uh, make a big company with a full fledged all the feature then we should provide some means of platform where they can build something so let's see first of what are in a sales aspect and then i show you how they are same. so in a saas aspect whenever salesforce was started they are providing only uh, this features that contacts leads and opportunity management deal tracking and product planning and manufacturing shipping this kind this is nothing but the objects of salesforce where you can do this kind of stuff if you have a new lead you can store their data into this if you want to do some opportunity management deal tracking how where it is now how are we going to Uh, crack this deal or not so this kind of things uh, uh, you can do easily inside of salesforce but as i mentioned day by day request are coming and they want to uh, implement so many things and uh, salesforce will not alone is able to implement that far so that's why salesforce introduced a platform where it's become a uh, pass company okay uh, give me a minute my screen was paused so let me check Is there is a no issue i can see it's the last is available uh give me a minute guys i i can see you are not able to see my next slide okay okay now it's ready so salesforce has started their journey then up with a saas aspect and then they built a platform where whatever the requirement you have let's say if you want to do any campaign management go ahead build yourself whatever you need and manage your campaign things because sometimes it's happen that campaign management is only required by few company not all the company they have required so at the time whatever they implement and given given as a new version and as an upgrade they provide only those things which is needed by all the companies which is required by all the companies but there are few certain things let's say i i i have in one company i am owning one company and i have my separate sales process whatever it is there in salesforce by default sales process i don't want to use that my sales process is different because my products are different uh, and uh, i i have a different departments and different regions uh, where i was uh, selling my product so based on that the requirement and 
sales process are different. So how do Salesforce uh, manage that? So that's why Salesforce introduced a new thing after eight years, around eight to ten years. Um, after the ten years, they have implemented a, a new things which call as a uh, pass which is nothing but a platform they have provided a platform which is nothing but a platform as a service pass aspect we call it as a so now after the 10 years it's uh, uh, self for started around 18 years back right so after the 10 years whenever uh, this all the requirement they have go through it after that they have think that okay why don't we build a one platform where whoever the people they need any things and any details they want has a custom implementation they can implement their self and they can use it so here once they have introduced the platform at that time the jobs are coming to the market because to build something in a custom as in custom application into the Salesforce yes we required administrator and we required the developer also based on the requirement so once the company started after the eight eight to ten years of journey Salesforce become as in past company so Salesforce created one uh, platform which is nothing but a force.com which is the platform <coughs> and on that they have uh, allow all the people that develop your uh, requirements and use it in the Salesforce. Your company specific whatever you need you can build on it and go ahead. So this is how the Salesforce uh, started his journey and uh, uh, currently now in a market they are so much popular in C CRM industry. So how they become so popular. So here you can see in my screen uh, there uh, there are some planning structure flow is there so this is another legacy platform so what you normally do let's say for an example if you want to build some application in java and java java is a good language if i'm no so if you want to build any application let's say if you want to create any sales good sales tool which uh, allows you to store all the data which related to your sales and it's also do some opportunity management and deal tracking and all these things if you are or let's say another example if you want to uh, build a tool which is used for your hr management purpose so hiring purpose whoever the new employee will come and for that you want to uh, uh, store all the details and manage how the hiring process will go so complete end-to-end -end hr management tool if you want to build kind of software application if you want to build that in a java so what uh, what the normal process we do is nothing but the legacy process we follow. So first of all, I have an idea that okay, I need an HR management tool or HR management software where I can manage end-to-end -end HR management process. So this is all my uh, requirement. This is should I need? I could be able to do these things. I could be able to store all the data. And this is what you can note it down in a, in a, as an idea that this is what I need. So what will be the next step? Next step will be that you will go in, go ahead and buy the software sorry buy the hardware for it and because without hardware how you can develop the software so first of all you need to buy some hardware that means in good computer good configuration and then you install some software like Eclipse to do the coding and then where you will host it you need in Tomcat server and kind of things right so you need to install some complex software as servers and all and then you need to define some user access because in HR management application let's say if I go if I am in one employee and if I'm going to uh, access that uh, application I should not able to see the other people's salary when I'm um, accessing that portal but if my manager is going to see that he should able to see the uh, some fields or some things well, like a salary as I told you of, of his team member but he should not able to see the whole company employees so based on the the hierarchy you have to define some user access that this user should have this much access only for that you have to manage uh, you have to write the code and you have to manage that all by personally in that uh, legacy platform again the set up some reporting so let's say at the end if you want reporting that in this much how many people has applied into a company how many people applied for this job and from which region there are so kind of reporting tool you have to build by yourself because in java the, if you are planning to build it from scratch in java then there is nothing you have to build your own self everything and then you build some security because why that it should not be hackable and it should not be the company data should not be accessible by anyone and then make it social and build up that means it should be workable in every devices that means if you are trying to accessing it from mobile it should be mobile compatible if you are going to use it from tablet or PCs or wherever it should be working it should work on each and every devices 
So this is what the legacy platform we normally uh, use to build any application. So uh, ideally, if we follow this complete leg uh, legacy process, then it would take around six to 12 months to build complete application. So this is what Salesforce is eliminating. eliminating. If you have any idea, go ahead, build it into the Salesforce and it will be ready to use. No need to worry about to buy a hardware because it's cloud based. No need to worry about complex or installing complex software because it's everything available into the platform. No need to define any user access. No need to worry about the reporting mechanism. No need to worry about security. And at the last, no need to worry about the compatibility of devices. So if you have any idea, build it on Salesforce and it's ready to use in all devices. This is as simple as that. Salesforce has eliminated all the legacy system process and that's why it's so much popular now into the market and everyone wants to learn the Salesforce and everyone wants to grow their career into the Salesforce. And it's, it's uh, when you guys joined the course and when you started learning it, trust me guys, it's really easy to learn in it. And if, once you see the beauty of the Salesforce, how in each and every step, once you follow a steps, each and every learning step, you will see uh, there is no easy way with Salesforce in providing you to build that things. If you want to build any HR management application inside the Salesforce, and once you started building in Salesforce step by step, you will see uh, there is no easy way and not, not kind of better way that Salesforce has provided you to build that application. So that's the main reason Salesforce is so much popular now in the market. And it's uh, security wise, I can say, and uh, otherwise it's so much secure though and that is the one major point that people or other company trusting to put their data on the Salesforce server. So this this what about the legacy system which Salesforce has eliminated. So now see how how the Salesforce now they're in the current market. So mostly you can see there are some big companies uh, name over there in my slides. So nowadays most of the all the company uh, who works in the sales who sell some product or who provide some kind of support and services and who do some marketing stuff and who has some communities and all and NGOs and all, all the companies and all the other kind of trust and all, they are using the Salesforce now because without Salesforce, they are not able to manage their data. So this is what the things you can see Google, Twitter, Amazon and also Facebook. These are the few main company which you all know. That's why I have put it their name over it. But trust me, whatever the big company you name it, Salesforce is there definitely. So what kind of application you can build in the Salesforce? So I have tried to put some example. It's about the legacy system. Whatever you can build in a legacy system, as I told you uh, one application name uh, that you can build. If you have a call center and if you want to um, manage any support system you can definitely do it in it uh, any uh, big company which has the some support system definitely it will be in a Salesforce only if you want to manage some accounting related financial system that yes you can build that account related stuff application into the Salesforce also as I mentioned HR system HR management is also there if you want to build something related to HR yes you can build that and if you want to build anything related with uh, uh, corporate system and all, uh, any kind of application you can, uh, this says that you can build into the Salesforce. So now let's move to the Salesforce by number. Till now I told you about how the Salesforce are popular, how the Salesforce are there in the market and how Salesforce has started its journey. It started 18 years back as I mentioned and it started as a SaaS company first of all, software as a service. They are providing a software in terms of services. And then based on the customer requirements, based on the client's details that we need these things, they have implemented one good platform where you can build custom application based on your requirement. And then it's because he has provided good platform where you can build these things so that's why they have eliminated legacy uh, software development system and they have eliminated all the things and it's a good to provide it by providing some good tools so it's also time saving and also that's why it's become so much popular in market and currently these many big companies are using it so now let's see I'm saying this many things that this big company are using it but where is the proof so these slides will give you the proof so Salesforce has uh, 150 thousands of customer currently in their ecosystem. In this 150 thousands, all companies are included, including the Google and all Twitter, which was in my previous slide. Currently, in a CRM industry, they have a 19.7% of 
total share. So I can say one of fourth part, it's only occupied by Salesforce. And there are other competitors into the market. Uh, if you know, uh, I, I can say a couple of names. Oracle has one, Sybil, and Zoho is there. So they are there, but they have only 1% or 2% or maybe 5% maximum of share in the market. But Salesforce is the only one who has largest number of share in the market in a CRM industry. Salesforce has personal own app exchange where they where developer can build their application and put it over there. So same as the uh, Apple App Store, right? People who are good in development, they used to build their application, a mobile application, and they, they put it on App Store and they can earn the money. The same way here in Salesforce also, we have an app exchange. Uh, we call it as an app exchange. The name is app exchange and where you can put your personally developed application, which is useful for the business development. Let's say, so today I have a requirement that uh, uh, whenever uh, I got a good order, a good lead in my Salesforce, then I should send an SMS with the, with email also. Normally email notification is the uh, normal way, but I want to send an SMS from the Salesforce also. So now how we can do that? So you can build one custom application that will send an SMS to any person. You can configure it. So same application, if you built it by yourself, and you put it on app exchange if it is listed then you can earn money from it anyone who want to send sms from salesforce you can use that app they will use your application and give you money for it so this kind of another third level of job opportunity uh, open for all the developers uh, provided by the salesforce so normally administrator and developer are there but this is the third thing if someone wants to uh, and aside as a freelancing if you want to develop your application yes you can build it and put it on app action so there are currently 2700 applications currently available and i can say this my slides is around two months old so currently there are 3000 exact i remember so 3000 applications are there in an app exchange and all 3000 applications currently till now three millions of downloads happen of that applications and they have celebrated or salesforce has celebrated three millions downloads also and uh, currently app exchange users are 70 percent of the customer that means from 150 thousands there are 70 percent of customers who are using the app exchange product so this is what the salesforce by numbers where it's provide all the details of the salesforce business and how it is large larger into the market and you can see how much shares and everything is occupied by the salesforce so this is what by the numbers and this is the true numbers uh, if you want to search it on google yeah go ahead and search it on google that salesforce really has this much customer does salesforce has this much of crm market share or not or salesforce app action has currently this many products or not everything is available on google you can search it on and you can see that uh, this is there is no fake data on my slide so this is what this is what about the salesforce by number Thank you all of you guys uh, for attending the demo lectures and I'm ready for the Q&A session. If you have any questions and anything, any doubt, then go ahead and hit me. Any question, anything from any guys, anything you want to know from me? Yeah, um, I, I, I have a question actually for you. Yeah. Yeah, could you actually show, you know, like how to just give a demo a session um, for about like five minutes uh, about, you know, like creating, you know, like an app, you know? Yeah, why not? Sure. Uh, may I know your name? Who's this? Uh, Narendra. Okay. Sure, Narendra. Uh, give me a minute. Let me open my Salesforce instance. instance. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay, so I'm on my screen now. Give yeah, me a minute, I'm logging.
not there. can you mute yourself i am see a very bad noise from your side okay so i am on a salesforce now and this is how the salesforce basics look like there are two kind of interface first is nothing but the lightning and if you want to switch back just let me show you the both ui how it look like and i show you i will create one quick application that how quickly you can create one application and try to use it using just few clicks so this is how the lightning ui looks like so here you have some dashboards and reports whatever you daily log in and if you have daily stuff uh, you can see over here and you can see that this opportunity is just came in came into my system and it, it's also reminding me that you have a demo so following up also follow-ups and all it will be there so this is how it look like and uh, guys uh, other for the other guys if you have any question just push, put it on comments and uh, after this uh, demo i will go through all the questions also so this is how the lightning ui you can see it's beautiful and if you want to switch back to the classic view this is nothing but the old look of the salesforce so this is how it look like and uh, let me show you how to create an application so to build anything inside the salesforce the only one thing we have to do is the first is the setup so once you click on setup on the left hand side corner panel you can see every details you can find over here whatever you want to build it and whatever the modification you want to do in this salesforce all these things are available here so first what i want to do is want to create an application right so here they are saying getting started this is a new org so what they are getting, saying that uh, do you want to create an application yes i want to they're just clicking on add app button and it's asking me for a name what do you want to put as a name that i'm as of now this is a test application what i put name as a test only test application and here it's asking me for what kind of data you want to store in this so uh, let's take an example of same uh, let's say uh, i am building this application for a grocery store where uh, daily on a daily basis whatever the grocery will come uh, into my stores I, I will put all the details over there and whatever the i want to manage of account of the all grocery stores i can say uh, give a name of any or maybe i can say warehouse also grocery warehouse or whatever you want to add there and then he is asking me what kind of data you want to store so it will create first database table for you so without database it won't store anywhere so in a database table uh, it's a normal word but in a salesforce word we call it as a object only so whenever i say object creation it is nothing but a database table where you can store the detail so here this is what my application name and here it's asking me for a database table name that what kind of data you want to store in the database so you can see example over here is recruiting i can use this also if you want to create any recruiting app then what will be the first database table name inside the ring what kind of data you are storing over there so it's giving me an example as in position so if you have what kind of positions are open so first of all to have such uh, if, if you don't have a position table data then how you can manage this so that's why you uh, we, we are going to create first database table while while creating an application so it's it's need in two kind of uh, label first is the label one only and then second one as in a ruler form why because it will available on a tab here you can see preview has unmuted itself please mute tarun can you mute okay great thank you so now once you click on create immediately salesforce will create uh, application for you and also in the background it will create one first database table for you so in that we are going to store the positions data that which kind of positions are open let's say java developer salesforce developer or the salesforce administrator this kind of positions are open or not so it will create the database table but it will be the empty one it it's do not have a much columns in that mainly database need three things database tables once you create is the first one and in that table there will be a columns and there will be the rows so as of now we are creating application and it will be the new there won't be any data that means there won't be any row in a database and also there won't be any columns apart from default one whichever is the default one required that are the only there no one other is there so let me create quickly for you and show you 
okay i'm clicking on go to my app so it will open and you can see position tab is created and you can see this is what my application currently this many applications are there till here in my salesforce org so i can restrict this also let's say some users want uh, it's related only to the sales part so i this is what mark but he only able to access the sales application so he will not able to change as of now i'm admin so i can change the application but i can restrict this sales application only and he can able to do uh, whatever the objects are present in my tab you can see only related with this they can do as of now let's focus on our application recruiting app once you go you can see the position tab is over there home and by default whatever the standard objects are there standard database it's available here we can as i told you no need to worry about the reporting and dashboard by default salesforce is provided to you i have just created a simple app by clicking at two points only so now if i want to add any position i just simply click on new button and you can say here what is the position name let's say salesforce developer right and save it if you want to create another just simply and this is what the detail view look like this is how the default fields are added as i told you some default columns will be there this is what the owner field who has who is the owner of this record which was created record means something with the row of the table now when i have created one if i click again on a position you can see there is one position is there now in a system in a database also so if you open it so it will say who created it and who lastly modified when it was modified everything will be there in a salesforce and who created it sometimes owner will be different but creator and uh, sometimes someone edit this position let's say this is the position now it is i have not much field here. and let's say i have one drop down list here and which mentioned is open and close two fields are there so that that means if salesforce if that field selected as an open that means salesforce position is open now but somehow someone came and who has the access of this record and he closed that position then how we can identify so that's why this default identification fields are there so last modify by who so you can see his name and all the details when he has modified so this is what the simple thing how to add the other fields if let's say there are so many fields uh, requires in this that uh, position name is the one thing but we need so many couple of details uh, to have a position record over here so how to create that that we can learn while going to the salesforce journey of learning is that answer narinder your question yeah that's yeah that's fine i was actually looking a little bit um, more on the complex side of it so but that that's fine that's okay yeah okay so let me see the chat window uh, people what are asking over here Will it cost any to create a login to use it? And it's asked by Saiteja Muthia. Okay, so uh, Salesforce has a good thing for you. So normally, uh, uh, definitely, if you are going to use any production org or any sandboxes, then yes, it is chargeable. But for a learning purpose, uh, Salesforce provide a developer account to you, and it is really uh, has all the details and all the licenses are available, which we want. To, which we required actually for a learning and it is totally free free of cost it won't charge a single penny also so it is completely free just you have to go to the developer.selfforce.com and register yourself it is free of cost so for a learning selfforce has a free instance whatever you want to learn and as many number of selfforce org you need you can register by yourself over there it is totally free of cost and next we have a is it compulsory to get certified first to get a job so it's depends shweta is asking here so shweta it is it's depend on it because nowadays most company is preferring to have a certified uh, administrator or certified developer because uh, they have some of uh, they they have some of idea that uh, these people are already going through the global test that means they already have this kind of knowledge and all and they no need to Uh, verify it and just by asking whatever his required question and few interviews they can get you but nowadays uh, like it depends on company again i'm telling you uh, whatever they have requirement why they are hiring on it based on that but nowadays i know the market uh, at least certification is required at least admin certification is required uh, without that it is really hard to get a job what is the cost of admin and developer course timing and duration 
So I don't know about the cost, but uh, that can Tarun can give you a, through the email. But uh, in our developer admin plus developer course, it will goes around 35 to 40 hours complete session and complete course, and uh, it will be the daily one one hour, and in 45 minutes will be the session and. Uh, 15 minutes daily will be the question answer session. So this is how the one year 60 minutes classes will be there daily. And uh, can I? Uh, yeah. Can I? Can I interrupt and ask you a question? Actually, uh, yeah, I understand. Sure. Yeah. So I understand that you know, like most of all the you know, like um, uh, what do you call the trainers out uh, in this world, I would say basically, right? Huh. Um, mm -hmm. They uh, what, what what the concept actually that I have been seeing actually is that either it's like one hour or two hours uh, you know like kind mm -hmm. of a training and, and you know like uh, it's either it's the second day third day you know like whatever the time time frame is but the bottom mm -hmm. line is I, I was the way that I think actually you know like how to really grasp you know like all this uh, technology itself you know like and also to understand you know like wouldn't it be a nice mm -hmm. idea to basically do a three hour session actually you know like so that way what happens is uh, you know, like you can read the information actually, you know, within your mm -hmm. actually itself. Yeah. So, you know, like it, 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 it remains there, right? So, and also mm -hmm. what happens is you also get a, get, you know, like you also get some time, a time off, you know, like, so we don't have to do it like, you know, like the every next day, but we can actually always, you know, like work within twice in the week. So that way, you know, at least we can also complete it as soon as possible and also try to make sure that you know like we can actually get the certifications also you know so there's a lot of time that we should be able to you know like uh, consider that at that moment you know so that uh, that's, that's you are my right you know, sir. yeah I, I got your question and all the points what you are referring but what happened is uh, uh, all the students are coming from different area and have a different mindset the some students or maybe some people who is doing the job also so they don't have a daily or maybe a twice in a week or twice in a week the three months uh, three hours of time and they can put for the course of learning on one hour maybe they can afford but uh, three hours some people do not have that much time and also some people have their mindset they can only do uh, focus for one one hour and two hour not more than that so there are some students and people I, I, I'm training, I'm doing the training from last so many years. So that's why these kind of students are there. And mostly students prefer either to uh, go, if, you, if someone want to go for a long hours, let's say three hours, then they go for a weekend. And some uh, students and people also suggested me that uh, daily one hour will be fine because daily, whatever you teach us, we do the practice after all that. And again, next day we learn something new and do the practice. And at the end of the week, uh, we, revise all the things whatever we learn in the week so this method uh, mostly all students has uh, preferred me that's why I used to follow that one but if for specific students if all group of students are agree to go with the daily three hours I don't mind because anyway I have to going to teach teach you whatever is in self force I don't mind to go with any method and any approach but mostly students are, pre are preferring this uh, daily yeah, one yeah yeah you know what the thing is the problem if that happens region yeah so I can't uh, force them that's what I, I want to have a free atmosphere where they can come and ha do learning and have a fun also no that that's right? true actually so what what I'm saying is you know like if we can actually uh, have a conversation with Tarun also you know because most mm -hmm. of the time what has happened is you know like I, this this is not with me also but uh, I have been in a lot of uh, you know like training for the sales force since last three four months actually and you can figure it out, you know, like why I'm here back again, you know, like because mm -hmm. I, I'm looking for a strategic, you know, like uh, training actually, right? So yeah, what yeah. happens? What what happens is I'll I'll train actually for about like or you know like be in the classroom for about two way two d uh, you know two days or three days or something like that, and then in the fourth day, for example, I lose my interest, and the reason mm -hmm. why is because is when you're doing it one hour you know like and because then it gets boring you know because the thing is hey you know like, let's start with you know like what we did yesterday you know like so we are starting over here right now it, it doesn't work and I I guess you know like most of these students you know like they don't understand the fact that the sooner the better actually that you can grasp you know like three hours you know like four hours mm -hmm. whatever it is like, like it, it's also less stressful for you also because you don't have to come yeah, back yeah, again, you yeah, know, like, yeah. 
yeah. don't worry about my trust because I am ready to uh, explain uh, uh, to all the students whenever they need. But uh, yeah, sure, your idea and concept is really good. Uh, you can think on it. So maybe Tarun and uh, we can discuss on this on offline also, right? I I asked Tarun actually. You know, like I I tried to get uh, you know like uh, I, with the Salesforce training. You know, like four or five times. I gave up actually. You know, like because it it it, it doesn't work because the thing yeah. is, it's just like you know when when we are in colleges or where we are in the school. You know, like. We have mm -hmm. got in school, we got eight hours actually. You know, like we are yeah. all stuck at the classroom for eight hours. I'm asking for yeah. only four hours, you know, like on a single day. So what happens is that we get more, you, you know, like productive, you know, like to, uh, because we now understand, you know, like this is exactly yeah. what we did. The on same, same, uh, same answer I can say as of now, because you have a four hour in a day to uh, spend on a learning that's why you can say that. But some people are there from different regions. They are, might be doing doing some job also, and they are doing as a part time course also side by side. So they don't have four hours to spend on a learning also. They can spend one hour, and they can spend half an hour to revise that. But this is what happened. So that's what I'm saying. We can discuss it offline. If number of students are ready to go with this approach, then I don't mind. That's what I'm saying. I can teach you four hours also, and I can teach you five hours in a day also. Whatever is better. Right, but what I'm saying is, right, so I'm not yeah, saying that. Yeah, having some I'm, questions. I'm, I'm, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, so there are some questions on the, also on our, uh, this chat window. Let me see. There, some asking is there are CICD tools have in a sales force to build and development and your experience. Okay. So, yes, there are definitely, and I can see you have already mentioned Auto Rabbit and all over there. Maybe you have done some research on the CICD. Part. So yeah, Jenkins is also there, and you can use the Puffos also. Uh, these tools are available in the market, so to for the CI/CD purposes. And uh, yeah, the same developer account questions are there. I can see yes, that is a free one. You can create it. Mm, no other questions. Technical, I can see. Someone has put some links of sandboxes. Okay, so I think we are good to conclude the call now. So guys, if you have any question or anything, you you have the email of Tarun, you can send them your questions, whatever you have, and I try to reply you best of my knowledge. So that's all from my side. Thank you, guys. Tarun, hand over to you. I think Tarun is not over there. Tarun, are you there? Okay, maybe he is not there. We can conclude the call. If you guys don't have any other question, then we can finish this. Okay, I don't see any comments on the comment window. Well, but could you just consider and talk to Tarun actually and consider, you know, like yeah, sure, sir. yeah, sure, sure. Sure. I got your point and I also got your concerns and definitely I'll speak with Tarun on this and we'll let you know how we are going to proceed with your requirements. Okay. See. You. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.